and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. All right, here live with Julian Hammerhand Rodriguez. Julian, it started and then it finished. What's going on there, man? It's, it's another first round KO for you, TKO. Um, you know, we, we went in there with a, with a solid game plan. You know, we were just figuring him out, and I saw a little opening, and, um, you know, I took it, and, uh, you know, a couple punches later, you know, the referee waved it off, so. Now, hearing your, your handlers here say they want to take you to 10 rounds, but they don't know how you're doing eight rounds because you just keep knocking people out. What do you got to say about that, man? Um, like, I, like I said before, I'm always comfortable with what uh, top rank, you know, wants from me. And, um, you know, so it's really up to them. But uh, we're just moving at our own pace and, you know, that's how it looks like it's going to be from now on. Now, when you had a rooting section here, rumor is you sold 600 tickets. I mean, what does that say about you kind of being like a local draw now here with, with in Newark? I mean, what, 15, 10 minutes away from Hasbro Heights? Well, it's only going to get bigger, you know, this is, this is just the beginning. Um, but I'm, you know, really grateful for all the supporters that came out and a lot of supporters watch, you know, that were watching it on TV. But, you know, um, I just, you know, I, I, I have a big following and that keeps me motivated. Tell us about the hook that I actually pretty much got him off his feet and then you jumped on him. I mean, how would you see that shot? Going? Well, he's long. You know, he was really long and uh, whenever he would throw his punches, they would take a little bit longer to get back. So, and I, you know, I, I was a lot quicker than him. So I snuck in a little hook after his punch and uh, you know, I, I took a step back and I noticed he started to wobble. So that's when I, I jumped on him with the straighter shots. And, I caught him with that right hook or whatever it was. Now, I know you've been asked this, and I asked Alex uh, about Errol Spence fighting this guy. Alex said it doesn't mean nothing that he stopped him before and you stopped him in one. What do you got to say about that? Yeah, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's you know, different uh, different styles, different game plans. You know, we, it, honestly, you know, the intentions weren't to stop him. We, we were, you know, we uh, we thought we were going to get at least a couple rounds, four or five, you know. And, uh, but, you know, we, I got him with a good shot. And, you know, so is it planning to go eight rounds finally? Next time, or what's the plan? Then? Well, the plan was to go. Eight, the plan is to go eight rounds every time. You know, we train. We train. We train uh, eight to ten rounds. You know, so um, it doesn't matter if it does. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't. How do you feel about this program, TV? I mean, I know you got your boy Glenn uh, headlining today, uh, and this is a great venue. I mean, could could you see yourself one day coming back here as the main event, True TV, or even something bigger than that? Oh, definitely. You know, um, like I said, I have. A tremendous amount of supporters who, you know, they come out. And uh, like I said, this is only the beginning, so things are only going to get bigger and better from here. And how many more times do you want to fight this year? As much as possible, you know, as many uh, as top rank ones. Well, congratulations on your victory. Can't wait to see you back in the ring. Thank you.